IOTA has been rising to the moon lately. But why? Why is IOTA so different? Why is it so good? Well, normally with Bitcoin and Ethereum, things like that, they work on a blockchain where each transaction is put in a certain block. And then the transactions get confirmed, which the miners are doing. They are doing a proof of work. So they, uh, they work to validate that transaction. And when Bitcoin gets bigger and there are more and more transactions, we need more and more miners. But this is very energy inefficient. So the transactions, they take longer and longer. Now, right now, I think transactions of Bitcoin take up to like 12 hours. IOTA doesn't have a blockchain in particular. They have something called Tangle. Now, the Tangle is very interesting because, like I said, the problem with Bitcoin is you cannot scale Bitcoin infinitely because you cannot make like 10,000 transactions a second because that would take so much computing power that's almost impossible to have or to generate. So what I also does, they don't have blocks, but when you make a transaction, a transaction obviously has to be confirmed. So when you make a transaction, the software in the background automatically confirms two transactions before yours that are not validated by now. So for example, this is my transaction. And as soon as I put my, as send my transaction, I make my transaction, two other transactions before my transaction are getting validated automatically. And to be fully uh, confirmed, to, for a transaction to be fully confirmed, it needs a certain amount of validations. But what this means is that IOTA and the Tangle is infinitely scale scalable. Because with every transaction you make, two transactions get confirmed. So that's infinitely scalable, which is a big thing and probably the biggest thing uh, of IOTA. Because the problem with Bitcoin, I mean, the, the thing behind Bitcoin is they wanted to make a worldwide usable payment. But that's simply not possible. Because if you compare it to Visa, for example, I think they are capable of doing tens of thousands of transactions per second. And that's simply impossible with Bitcoin. But IOTA has solved this problem with the Tangle. Well, another point is that IOTA has very, very fast transaction times in, in comparison to Bitcoin or even Ethereum. I mean, Ethereum, the block time, I don't know what the block time of Ethereum is. I know the block time of Litecoin, for example, which is also very fast, is two and a half minutes. And I think in try with IOTA, you make transactions in literally seconds. And you can, like I said, make infinite transactions. Another very, very, very big thing is that with IOTA and transactions, you have zero transaction fees. Literally zero. You pay nothing to do a transaction. And that's what Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dash, everyone is lacking. Besides the transaction time and the infinite scaling, which they also don't have. But I also have zero transaction fees. Right now, the transaction fee of Bitcoin is about 10 to $15, which is immense if you think of that. If you think of how many transactions are made per second, that's millions of dollars every minute. And IOTA doesn't have transaction fees. Plus, there are so many IOTAs out there, you can literally make a transaction of one millionth of a cent worth. 
you cannot make that with Bitcoin. That's not possible. Well, another point is, and that's, I think, the real deal right here, because with Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dash, all the other cryptocurrencies, I mean, they are out there and they are getting supported by so many people, but not by governments, not by real users, not by real people out there. It's not getting that attention in the real world and they don't have real world um, use cases right now. But IOTA does have them. For example, IOTA just recently released the news that they partnered with Volkswagen, Microsoft and Bosch and many, many more big partnerships to open a data marketplace where you can buy data from companies which are currently locked up. And that's really an insane thing. And that's why the price went up that high. But I've explained why the price went up that high in a video I've made previously. So this is really a big thing because now IOTA has real world use cases and it can be used in the real world, not like other cryptocurrencies. It also has support from the German government, which is also pretty cool. Another cool thing is that you can always make a snapshot of Tangle and I'm not going to go into much detail, but you can make offline transactions. And I'm not sure if any other crypto, if not any other currency has this, but that's very, very cool. Another big thing of Fiota is that it's quantum proof. That means that a quantum computer would take very, very, very long time, or it's nearly impossible to hack the system or to find out a nonce. This is because IOTA uses the Winternet hash-based cryptography instead of elliptic curve cryptography, which is called ECC and the other currencies are currently using, for example, Bitcoin and Litecoin. So we're going in the future right now and quantum computers are already out. There are tons of cryptocurrencies that are affected by the use of quantum computers because they can just find out your hash and find out your seed, find out your private key and they can hack you, but that's not possible with IOTA. It's another big thing. And the last thing, which no other cryptocurrency as of December, 2017 has are flash channels. So here you have the tangle and you can basically open a flash channel, which would be right here, which would be, which would contain two transactions. So you open a flash channel with person A and person B, and then person A is doing a transaction of 200 euros to person B. Then they close the channel and then they uh, put it into the tank, which is a very cool thing because it's feeless, it's fast and it's bidirectional and it's off the tangle. So you can instantaneous do payouts with any other party, which is a very nice thing. Well, I hope you now have a basic understanding what makes IOTA so different than all the other currencies. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and a subscribe. Also, leave some comments below so I can improve. And well, thanks.